if you clicked on this video, you either are eager for Nightmare Mode to release and want the best tips to prepare, or Nightmare Mode is already out and you're seeking help to beat it. Either way, here are some useful tips not just for beating Nightmare Mode, but for beating anything in Tower Defense X. Tip number one, place correctly. For example, take a U-turn like this. Don't place your units at the edge like this. Maximize the range of the unit by placing it in the center. Place your baits on the opposite side of the path from your main towers, so then the boss's attacks don't splash onto your units. Place your units close together to save space. Place support towers in the middle to reach all of them. And place top farm, top, top, top path farms on the outside of your units because they take up a lot of space. Now, place the spawner units far away from the rest to ensure that your last line of defense stays alive. And the same goes for your bottom path farms because they do not need to be anywhere near your units. Tip number two. Maximize your money making. Yes, you want to defend, but you need money for that. In order to do this, you need to find the perfect balance. Take wave 10 to 16 on extra mode for example. Wave 10 is a hard wave, so you definitely need to defend on that. But 11 to 15 usually can be defended with the defense you've had since wave 10. So it would be wrong to keep defending here, but it would instead be better to get started on those farms. That's an easy example, but to learn how to do this, it just takes practice and learning the mode's wave structure. Which brings us to the next segment, tip 3. Memorizing the wave structure. If you lost, why did you lose? Know what enemies were sent out on that wave, and get the minimum amount of defense needed to take care of it, so you can maximize farming for even more units later. Just keep getting the minimum defense needed, and once you're done with your farms, you will be able to go all out. Tip number 2 and tip number 3 synergize with each other extremely well. Now tip number 4, spend the money correctly. Now that you have all this money, you need to know what to do with it. Take wave 31 for example on extra mode. If there is an excess amount of enemies with explosive and bullet resistance, you don't want to spam something like Juggernauts or Railgunners. Juggernauts use bullets, so they'll be doing 50% damage, and Railgunners can't deal with hordes. A better choice would be Toxicnator or Laser Gunner, as they both bypass these immunities. And finally, tip number 5, get the towers that you need. Now that you know what to do with your towers, all that's left is to actually get Bruh. them. To do this, find a good extra mode strategy, and grind that. That's all you have to do as extra mode is currently the best grinding mode. If you're unable to do extra mode though, you could grind elite, and if you can't do elite, grind intermediate. If this helped you out, like and subscribe, because I am trying to hit 100,000 subscribers, and I'll see you all when Nightmare Mode releases. Thank you to my members, thank you for watching, and have a good day. Peace out.